It, it's going to be cool. I mean, the bottom line is you can't beat the location, right? The views are incredible. Uh, just as you watch some of the boats or the tankers come out. I love my job. I, I always say because I learn something new every day. And I always wondered, like, what was in my sushi platter? So I've been getting a, a lesson on fish here as well. I know what salmon looks like. Then we've got red snapper, halibut. I didn't know that sea bass actually has kind of a reddish color, but it's a different kind of sea bass. And then... Uh, I always knew what swordfish looks like. But this is what's cool about this place and what people so love about the fish market, the San Pedro fish market, is you basically, you get the fresh seafood right from the ocean, and you can either take some home and cook it yourself, or you get them to cook it for you. Of course, they're known for their big shrimp tray. I've got Henry here to tell us a little bit more about the big plans for the future, because as we've been saying, uh, this is all going to go away for now, but you're moving uh, in just a couple of weeks to another temporary location that's just not too far away from here. Yeah, it's uh, maybe 100 yards down the road. Um, it is a piece of well, flat land that the developers aren't going to use for a few years. So we're designing a temporary location to go into it. We're going to phase it. We're going to do our first phase to get anywhere from 500 to 1,000 seats there. And then we'll transition into our second phase, which is just a little bit further, which would be next to the Maritime Museum. And I was asking you because I just showed some video of your operation here, and there's some workers here. And uh, Steve, I think you can go around here. You can see some more fish that's being brought here. I mean, but this is like a machine. You've got like 400 people working here, almost 2,000 seats out there. Like, how do you move this and move it over to another location? And then you have to start to conceptualize the brand new location that you hope to build within the next yes. couple of years. Years, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of challenges, but we have uh, great teams. We have a lot of employees here that are just waiting for the transition so they can get in the kitchens and get back to fishmongering. And in the background, we have a whole nother team working the, the move and the equipment and, and all the pieces to the puzzle. So. Well, let's talk nostalgia here. I have more video here or, or pictures, uh, vintage pictures. I know this, your third generation, your family in the fish business. Yes. <laughs> um, and you must get customers here that come and have like so many memories here. If you've been here for 65 years, what are they saying about this transition time? I imagine some might be worried that this is gonna go away permanently. Yeah, I mean, there's concerns from our customers for sure. Our goal is as we do the transition to make it feel like it's, it's what it was. We're trying to give you that same feeling, that same nostalgia. So, you know, you are you don't feel like San Pedro Fish Market has changed. You know, it might be in a little bit different location, but there is, there's generations and generations of family that come down there and spend their holidays with us. And, so. and I know you're telling me your kid's involved in this, so it's sort of like a passing the torch. And really quickly, where do you see this, um, you know, a couple of years from now when this, all, this waterfront is redeveloped, what's your vision for what this is all gonna look like? I mean, our goal is to have, um, it, our, our goal is to be bigger than we are now inside of this uh, new West Harbor uh, project. Mm -hmm. So, our, our, I mean, it gives us the ability to, to dial in our operations. I mean, the fish market has never, to me, been big enough. So, mm -hmm. a larger showcase, more whole fish, um, and just really bringing that seafood experience uh, to, to a whole nother level. Okay. What is that big guy right here? What is that fish that right there? That is a type of sea bass out of Mexico. It's actually a grouper. We call it a pink grouper. That's a grouper, folks. And That's the grouper. Delicious. Your fish lesson lesson of the morning. <laughs> we got some grouper there. Uh, they have two locations uh, uh, also open in Wilmington and in Long Beach. Those will be open in just a couple of weeks. You'll see uh, their temporary location with about, with about a thousand seats. Not too far away from here. If you know the museum uh, down here along the harbor. Uh, that's uh, where you should go check it out. Yep, we'll send sure. it back to you. Sounds good, and you could always take and a little crap. souvenir, Bob. The spices that they sell there, yes. perfect for home. <laughs> I'd like to take one of these as a souvenir. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. There's that too. <laughs> that does look good. Yeah, that too. it does. Okay, Bob, thank you.